Hey, what's going on? It's Jack Malaco for Beard Brand. Today marks the 21 week milestone on the growing of my beard for an entire year. And today I'm gonna show you the tried and true best way I've found to tame the wildness in my beard. Okay, so you might've seen last week that I got my beard trim for the first time in this entire series by Mahesh. If you haven't seen that video, check it out up here. The thing I found from that trim was the best way to train my beard to sit a little bit farther down and not poof out so much like it does. Of course, there's always the boar bristle brush, which helps a lot, but the thing that I found that works the best is the use of a blow dryer and a comb. It's as simple as that. But before I get into that, I wanna wet down my beard and then we'll get right into it. So excuse me for a second. Much better. Now my beard is nice and damp. It's not dripping wet, but there's enough water in there to where I can actually kind of mold it and put it into more of a shape before it gets dry and wild. So before I actually go ahead and use the blow dryer on here, I wanna pop in just a tiny bit of beard oil. I actually have no oil in my hair right now. So I'm gonna get about eh, three to four drops. Rub that bad boy in there. And this is just gonna kind of protect the hair a little bit from the heat of the blow dryer. Now, of course, you don't have to use a product in your beard every time you blow dry it, but from what I found and from the advice of Mahesh himself, just a little bit of balm or oil is gonna help coat the hair and protect it a little bit more when you blow dry your hair more often. Okie dokie, now that I've got the oil in my beard and this tiny little blow dryer in my hand and comb in the other, we can get started. What you're gonna wanna do is set the blow dryer on high and sort of get the hair into the shape that you want. This may take anywhere from two minutes to five minutes. It's really not that long, and that's for the entire beard, mind you. So let's get right into it then. One thing you wanna keep in mind while you're doing this is you don't wanna tug hard with the comb. Use the bigger end of the teeth and just gently pull it through. You don't wanna create any snags and you don't wanna pull out any hairs when you're doing this. Of course, like always with any sort of grooming, you're bound to lose a hair or two, so don't freak out about that. But don't go into this like you're about to rip your beard out. Just work with the hair. And that warm air is just gonna kind of lock the hair into place. Now this tiny little blow dryer doesn't have the setting for cold, but if you wanna take it a step further once you've blow dried it on warm or hot, is hit it with a little bit of that cold shot and that will really lock the hair into place. I'm sure you can already see a difference between this side and this side. I'm not sure if it shows up perfect on camera, but this side's a lot poofier and it feels a lot poofier. It's drier, it's wiry, but this is nice and soft and it's sitting down a heck of a lot better. So just for the benefit of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you another technique that you can use if you don't really wanna use a comb and you're finding that the comb isn't taming your beard enough. That's the use of a little Greg Brzezinski trick and that's round brush. These things are pretty awesome. Most people use them on their hair, but I found that they work really well on the beard, especially if you get these real thin ones. It's gonna pull the hair down, so be really careful that you're not ripping your beard out when you're using this. But if you're finding that you've got a really coarse and wiry beard that just isn't taming down with a comb, use the round brush and see what you can do. All right, we're gonna use the same technique. Hair dryer on high, round brush is just gonna pull the hair down in a circular motion. We're not gonna rip the hair out though. All right, let's get into it. And that's all there is to it. It's as simple as that. Like I said before, guys, this is really just a two to five minute process for the entire beard. Now, if your beard is really unkempt and really just not listening, maybe bump that amount of time up to about seven minutes, but really you're not gonna be spending much more than that. It's super simple. Just do it whenever you hop out the shower and you'll be good to go. I've been doing this every day since I've gotten that beard trim and man, it is making a difference. Let me tell you, between the trim and the newfound way of taming, I'm feeling a lot more confident about my beard. And hey, I'm letting these grow up again, if you were noticing. So hey, I hope you guys learned something. And now without further ado, let's get in the close up and you guys can see the progress of this beard 21 weeks in with the trim and with this newfound style of taming the hair. 
Quite the difference, huh? All right, let's get into the comment of the week. This one comes from Protein Shake, and they ask, wait, why are you gonna stop trimming the cheeks? You want hair up to your eyeballs? Now this is a reference into what I said last week and at the beginning of this video when I said, I'm gonna stop trimming the cheek lines. I know I was kind of known for those sharp cheek lines, especially these little dips that made it for a very distinct style, but I mentioned that I'm not gonna shave those in anymore for the rest of my beard unless they just look horrific. Now the reason I'm doing that is one on the recommendation of Mahesh and Carlos, but two, I found that because I'm going for a more natural look with my beard, there really isn't any reason to keep shaving in a cheek line. I stopped shaving in a neckline altogether. There's just no reason to do it anymore. So I figured I would try it out with the cheeks, see how they come in, see what the density looks like once it comes up there. I've really never grown those farther than two weeks, really. So we're gonna hang in there. We're gonna see how they come in. If they look horrific, like I said, we'll get rid of them. But for now, I'm gonna rock the fully natural look with a bit of taming, of course, from the brush or the comb. But besides that, no more shaving and very, very spread out trimming, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, hope to see you in the next one, and until then, keep on growing. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.